Hi everyone, thanks for tuning back in. I just wanted to show you all of the bird books that I have. I have two books that are not present. They, one was this size and the other one was this book actually because I lucked out and at the store that I found this at, it was a secondhand bookstore. I actually found the, it was uh, $2. Even though whenever this was published, it was $1.95, so I guess I made five cents, so whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I gravitate towards birds, botanical mushrooms, which I only have, I think, like three mushroom books, so it's pretty much botanical in bird books, and then old books. So let's dive right into this. Um... This book here is a, a guide to field identification, a guide to field identification birds of North America. Um, this I paid $6 for. I got this at a thrift store. Um, I got it. I'm from Ohio, so I got it somewhere in Medina. Um, and I just couldn't pass it up. Um, I don't find too many of these books when I'm thrifting. So when I do find them, I do always snatch them. Um, but I have noticed that you can find more of these kind of books at secondhand bookstores. And this one particularly already had these pages falling out, which really isn't an issue. Because I can fold these in half, fussy cut these, or... Um, I can always use washi tape and just, you know, like that and then put them in my journal so they're good to go. Which I didn't really even notice that those were like that until I brought it home and started going through it. Um, okay, well, that has a massive glare. <laughs> the Sibley Field Guide to Birds of Western North America. Um, this one was also, I didn't pay $20 for this. Here we go. I paid $9.98. Um, this was at a secondhand bookstore as well. Um, this one, I mean, I guess you could fussy cut these. I feel like that would really be a pain in the butt. But if you're able to, which it looks like you can, unbind them. Because it does, they have their own signatures. Um, like I said, the focus on my phone is awful. Um, but yeah. I thought for nine dollars that what ten bucks wasn't too bad. And like I said, a lot of these bird books, I don't have the dimensions. I don't have how many pages unless I look in the back. Uh, let's see. The first book, three hundred and forty. The second book. 471 so for 10 bucks that's a lot um birds of europe with north africa and the middle east this one i got for ten dollars at the same bookstore um we went on a little family vacation and we were in erie pa and we stopped at a secondhand bookstore so I was able to snag up just some of these are just so pretty and these do have a gloss to them you know if you really want multiples of this kind of bird here you go um, This has 
559 um, pages. Super pretty. So yeah. And then this is a golden guide, which is birds. And front and back. So you would have to pick. And um, at first, when I started looking at these, I was like, oh no, someone scribbled on this page. But um, that's just pieces of like water grass or whatever you call that in here. Um, so I did take the first one apart, which this is like glued to it. Um, so this was not easy to get apart without pulling the pages apart, which I wanted them together because I thought these were perfect sizes for junk journals. So that way you could have a different height and different size of a page. Um, this was a journal. I bought this at a secondhand bookstore for $5. She actually said she was going to sell some of my journals, my junk journals, and um, packets to see if anybody is interested in them. So that's pretty cool. Um, so it is a journal. I've never seen this before. Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. 1993 so it just kind of starts off it says my enemies have been few and my friends numerous um, so it gives you room to write and then it has like your bird page gives you a something else and then room for you to write or do whatever and then it'll give you another um, picture same thing here so, you know, I thought, you know, for $5, you couldn't really pass that up for some of these, some of these pictures. Um, and this is a journal, so I don't think it tells you how many pages it has. Um, the Smithsonian Handbooks, Birds of Florida. Um, this has 399, 400 pages. So it's kind of set up a little different. Bought this for $6. So you do get quite a bit of information. So, I mean, I personally wouldn't even fussy cut the birds and just these are all sewn in so you should you can take these apart and um I just put the pages in there like as if you know this was one and you put your next page in there and then they have some information and uh some beautiful work in their journal and then let them decide if they want to cover up the pages that have this information on it that's usually what I do I usually just put information or pictures, stamps, or like stickers on my blank pages here and there, like in the corner. And then these pages, I'll either put a pocket or something on it, but most of them I leave blank. Um, what it's like to be a bird. I believe I actually bought this off of Amazon. I, I can't remember where I bought this from. Um, I wasn't uh, too thrilled with it. Um, I mean, I knew that there was going to be a lot of writing. Um, Two hundred and five pages, four pages. What's nice though is it tells you if what to do. If like a bird, if you find a bird in your home or you uh, find a bird injured, 
Um, you know, they just give you really small pictures of birds with information. I know you can't really see the actual like picture of the bird, but it does have a couple good pictures. There we go. Um, sorry about that. So I mean, I mean, I guess it does have some good pictures. I just, I couldn't remember. Sometimes Amazon will give you actual pictures of the books, you know, and what drives me insane is that Amazon sells a lot of stuff and they sell quite a bit of books. The fact that majority of their books, they just simply show you the front cover, the back cover, and then like a picture of a drawing of somebody holding it in their hands so you can see the size of it, but there's no pictures. And then you're counting on people down below who have bought these items to take pictures so you can see what's inside. And that's part of the reason why I was putting these book reviews up because the books that I bought, I'm obsessed with. And okay, now that's beautiful. So I must not have really thoroughly gone through this book when I bought it. Um, I just get tired of, you know, there's a couple books that I purchased based off the front cover and maybe like one or two reviews and no pictures and I get them and I'm really disappointed and it's like, man, like really I could have spent that money on something else. Now that's beautiful. So yeah. This is Birds of Europe. Oh, this is this is heavy. Um, did I do this one? Oh, I did. This has 321 pages. Um, the images are double-sided. So this is 11 by 7 eighths of an inch, 8 and 5 eighths of an inch, and 1 and 1 eighth of an inch thick. So, I mean, um, this one I did pay the $22.50 for. Um, I bought this from a um, thrift store or an antique store, one of the two. So I know the pages are big, but you could always, you know, take this one page and fold it in half, which I know that the birds aren't necessarily upright or whatever, but it just gives your journal some more character. You're putting your pages in differently and they're not always going the same way. Or, you know, you can take the time and you can, you know, you can fussy cut these. Like, look how beautiful. yeah it's your choice to do whatever you want with them and you know these big pages you know you can make tags oh look at the owls I love owls I love owls and like the big bright colorful birds it doesn't necessarily have to be like tropical birds um And then it has the book covers pretty. So that would make a good book cover for a journal. Okay. Let's keep going. Um, all right. This one I bought from that same secondhand bookstore, $12. Four hundred and sixteen pages. Um, so, I mean, there's quite a bit of writing. The birds in this are pretty small. So, hopefully, if you wanted to use a bird on this side 
and maybe you know here you've got the birds up there and the writing down below so hopefully you're not really having to choose and pick um, these ones I found that if you were to take this out you could fold it like a hot dog and you have your writing right down the middle on some of these and it and it works out that way I like these kind of colorful birds just colorful birds so yeah in this book Reader's Digest birds, their life, their ways, their world. And this person actually had two of these, but I wasn't going to pay, you know, $22, $24 for two of them. If it was, you know, one was a little bit cheaper because it was torn up or something, yeah. Um, this book has 128 pages. Um, it's 11 by eight and seven sixteenths of an inch and three eighths of an inch thick. I'm giving you the information on the books that I've did. Um, this was at a thrift store. I bought this from one to five dollars, so it's probably like more of like two to three dollars. Um, it's just paintings, um, sketches that allow you to take the time to try to draw yourself or sketch out. But I just thought that some of these were pretty and I have taken some of the pages out of these and used them. So yeah, if you like to draw, this could definitely be something um, up your alley uh, to use in your junk journal or however you want to use them. Um, this is Artist Photo Reference Birds. It has 144 pages. And yeah, um, it's a drawing book, so it gives you some references. Is it not a drawing book? Those ones were drawings in the back, so maybe it's not drawings. This is actual pictures. So. I think this is what people might use to actually reference for drawing, but I could be wrong for some of this. I don't know. They even have some of like the wings. And what's nice is if you really find a bird, you can really, you know, just cut out the square, but you have to pick and choose. Um, these are kind of thick uh, pages, so I was wrong. I think this is just a reference so you can kind of see for drawings. Um, I got this from another thrift store. Um, it's 112 pages, album of North American birds. I am, and I paid $2 for this. So. And pass it up even just having some of the pictures that are black and white off on the sides and stuff are really nice so and this is all North American birds so yeah this book is 10 by 11 sixteenths of an inch. This is nine inches and three eighths of an inch. Now, what I found interesting it is
the same name. So, this has 160 pages. I'm wondering if some of these... I thought this was pretty, but you know, if you do cut this out back here, you're going to have to pick and choose. So hopefully, you know, the size, they were smart enough to make it so you could double side it. Um, it is not double sided. This information goes with this. This is not this information here. So when this says the black vulture, the black vulture is over here. Beautiful pictures and illustrations. Looks like most of it of the birds feeding. <laughs> or killing. Um, I did tear out a couple pages. Um, especially when I was just getting started. This was one of my first books. So yeah. Beautiful. There's the owls. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it does have, there you go, like a pelican embellished on the front. Um, we're almost done, I promise. This is a Reader's Digest book of North American birds. Um, I thought this was kind of cool. I liked how the pages were set up differently than the, the other ones. They're, these are longer. Um, and these, I believe, are broken down into categories. Maybe not. Okay, well, yeah. So they're broken down into different categories. I don't know if it's necessarily based on the type of beak they have, but yeah, beautiful book. And this is North American Birds. Okay, so I had the Oxford Book of Flowers so, I have the Oxford Book of Birds. 207 pages. These are single-sided, so you do not have to choose. Some black and white pages. They are semi-gloss. You get quite a bit of birds on one page. I bought this on worldofbooks.com for about five euros plus $2 shipping. Um, nine by 11 sixteenths of an inch and seven inches, three fourths of an inch thick. This, I have this one and one more, and that's it for my bird books. So this is Thorburn's Birds. Um, it has 190 pages. It's 10 inches by 7 and 3 eighths of an inch and 3 eighths of an inch thick. I bought this off of worldofbooks.com, and it's set up just like the last book. It is glossy. This does give you more information, I feel like, and it does break it down. So you wouldn't necessarily have to pick and choose. Um, but just remember that this information goes with these birds. This information does not go with this. So, <clears throat> excuse me.
And that's pretty much throughout the whole, you know, the whole book is set up that way. And last but not least, this is ba Baz Basil Eddie's Birds, Ed's Birds, whatever you can read. Clearly I can't, I chopped that up. Um, whatever. This has 128 pages. These are pretty big pages, um, pictures of birds. So I don't really think fussy cutting would really work. So you kind of have to figure out what you want to do. Oh, look how pretty with these. Um, this I got off of worldofbooks.com. I think I paid around 12 euros for this book. Which I thought wasn't too bad. So pretty. I won't mind my nails. I need to get them done. Um, wow. So yes, um, thank you so much for watching my videos. This was all of my bird books. Um, I still have tons more of botanical books. Um, so please like and subscribe. And please comment and let me know what you think. Alright, have a great night.